Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 18th to the 24th of January 2021. So I hope you're well Gemini. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Gemini please? Okay, we have the Nine of Coins. Okay. So angels, what does Gemini need to hear the most for the week, please? Oh, <laughs> this card just came rolling out. So let's go with that. We have ask for help from others. And I'm going to just pull one more card. And okay, two more cards. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's divine assistance as well. We have ask your angels, lots of help on hand. And we have compromise. It feels, you see the scales, to strike some kind of balance, there's compromise here. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message, Gemini. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides, 18th to the 24th of January, 2021. Thank you. That rolled out again. We have the Temperance card. Six of Cups is your challenge. The Moon is advice from Spirit. And your outcome, we have the Ten of Swords. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Gemini. Eighteenth to the twenty fourth of January, twenty twenty one. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Go deeper into the message, please. Angel spirits guides. Thank you. Okay, three cards here. So we have the King of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords clarifies the Six of Cups. The Moon energy, we have the Two of Cups here. And the Knight of Swords, Gemini, which is you actually, is clarifying the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the World. It feels in this, I mean, the, the, the Nine of Cups can be a card of independence, somebody who is on their own, but they stand in their own self-worth, self-esteem. It can be a card of healing complete for me as a reader, um, but also, you know, uh, being able to provide for their material needs, you know, uh, being successful in terms of work, money, career. Um, understanding how to bring abundance into their life. So there's definitely this energy with the Nine of Pentacles of if this is to do with about being on your own or being single, maybe in terms of um, something maybe ending in terms of a relationship and a difficulty in moving on from that, there's definitely this energy here, Gemini, of you're going to be okay. There's an energy of compromise, but I also feel this compromise is about balance as well. Getting balance back into your life, readdressing how you need to bring balance back into your life. Um, because there's definitely an energy of, uh, this is somebody who stands in their own right, in their own success, in their own stability, security, self-worth, self-esteem, and feels pretty good about it. So it's really, it's a good omen in terms of the future, how you're going to feel moving forward. 
Um, you have everything that you need, the practical skills, knowledge, experience to bring this about. It's also a card of focus on the things that are going to bring this about for you. Um, don't focus on the things that are going to hinder you achieving this. Um, Self-sustaining energy is a good card of independence. And like I said, feeling pretty good about it. Because the temperance card, and it did roll out a few times, and I was wondering whether it was going to come out reversed or not. Because this comes when there's a need to strike a balance, when there's a need to get balance back into your life. Maybe because something has thrown your life out of balance. It can be a card of patience, being patient with yourself as well. But it's, it's also an energy of giving. You strike a balance by not focusing too much on one thing and not on the other. You know, that would put something out of balance. So again, I'm getting this energy of, are you focusing too much on something and not striking the right balance? You know, it feels like the balance needs to be addressed and that's the compromise here. Take a fresh look at how you're viewing something, perceiving something, giving so much weight to something, so much focus to something that it outweighs everything else. And that's what I'm feeling here, Gemini, quite strongly. Because um, this is also a card of adapting to change and it comes after the death card, which can be a card of endings or deep change in your circumstances. The, the seven of pentacles... It's a card of taking stock. You've put so much time and energy into something, but it doesn't seem like it's, it's bringing reward. And it's a card of taking stock. Is it worth my time and energy anymore? You know, it's that kind of energy. And to bring growth into my situation, do I need to readdress where I place my focus? You know, um, it's, it's a card of how you invest your time and energy as well. And again, the Seven of Cups is a card of there's so many opportunities, so many doors to open. I mean, this is a card of real potential. There's such potential, uh, many options around you. You know, opportunity can be about choices, many opportunities around you now. So really give attention to what you're focusing on now and where you put your time and energy. Because this is about new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. And definitely for some of you, this is about taking stock to readdress and bring balance back in your life. If you're focusing so much on something that is outweighing everything else, there's definitely an energy of refocusing. And the King of uh, King of Swords is an energy, I mean, it's Aquarius energy, Temperance is Sagittarius, can be people in your life or, you know, part of your sign. The, the, the King of Swords is somebody who sees a big picture, who gets perspective on how to look forward. He doesn't look back, you know. He understands how to get mental clarity, to make decisions, choices, do the right thing for them now. Um, so it might well be for some of you. You're getting mental clarity understanding how you need to move forward, maybe to put some kind of new plan into action, maybe to focus on the bigger picture, get perspective and see the way forward in your situation. Because the can also be about getting some, sometimes, I mean, it can be about professional help as well, professional guidance, consultation. Uh, the, but it's helping you. I mean, the challenge is to move on from the past. And this is what I'm saying. It feels like you're, you're focusing so much on one thing that it outweighs everything else. And there's definitely this energy with this King of Swords of stepping back to see the bigger picture, to get perspective on the situation, to see new hopes, new dreams, new opportunities that will allow you to move forward. Again, this is Aquarius energy. So it's new world energy, new vision energy to detach from the past, memories of the past, a person from the past. It feels it's to do with love, romance, relationship. And it feels that there could have been an ending of a relationship. And this is the difficulty in moving on. And there's a message here that there's so much potential. You have so many opportunities to tap into here. 
This is about clearly making some choice or decision to get a perspective, to see the big picture, to see the way forward finally, and maybe detach from what's been keeping you stuck. And that's a challenge because the advice from spirit, I mean, let's clarify this moon. clarify this moon yeah a lack of clarity um, <laughs> the, the moon energy can be a card of deception all is not what it seems it's also a lack of clarity as well and it feels to do with love matters of the love i don't know how to move on from this you know i don't know how to get perspective i don't know how to see the way forward in this situation and i, I feel it's to do with love romance relationships because I, I feel something ended here and there's definitely an energy of all is not what it seems here gemini somebody wasn't what they seemed to be But the Eight of Swords is a card of not being able to, either the refusal to see the truth of a situation or not being able to get perspective in how to move forward. It's how the mind keep us, keeps us prisoner. When we focus on the negative of the mind, it keeps us prisoner and stops us getting perspective, seeing the way forward in a situation. There's definitely a lack of clarity in terms of love, romance, relationships here, or moving on from love, romance, relationships. And there's definitely an energy with the moon. When you have lack of clarity, trust your intuition because you're being guided. This is a... Uh, a self-imposed restriction energy the mind creates the illusion of feeling stuck stuck in our own head by negative thinking by focusing on the negative and again that moon energy i mean there may have been some deception going on here or somebody wasn't what they seemed to be and yet there's difficulty in moving on you're being guided through your intuition with the moon energy this is a card of surrender let go of fear trust your intuition to move forward again there's some kind of illusionary energy here between the two the mind creates an illusion of keeping you stuck here let's clarify this two of cups Clarify this two of cups, please, angel spirits guides. Yeah, if you, yeah, look, I mean, I've got the devil and I've got the page of swords. I mean, they need to break free of what, what seemed to be a, a good relationship. It feels like it went toxic. I mean, the devil can be a card of our own, it, it can be our own shadow self, unhealthy attachments and the need to break free of unhealthy attachments because it's an addictive energy. It can represent codependency, addiction, unhealthy relationships, instability, um, imbalanced relationships as well, you know? One person taking more than they give, imbalances of power in a relationship, all this kind of energy. And the devil is, not again, an illusionary energy of this thing has power over you. It's, it's giving something power and feeling powerless, you know, and the page of swords is an energy of break free, cut cords, break free, change your perspective. It's the wind of change card. Some getting perspective, learn from this, learn from this, but break free of it now. There's definitely this kind of energy here, Gemini, because it wasn't healthy for you and this situation isn't healthy for you. Ten of Swords can be a card being it can be a card of loss. Um deeply wounded, hurt, 
deeply by somebody. It could have been on more than one occasion that they let you down. I'm getting that energy quite strongly. And then something, and it can be about painful endings here. It can be about betrayal. Um, some kind of painful ending here. And there's a message. I mean, spirit is just shouting at you, saying they're not what they seem. Who you think they are is not what they are in reality. Cut free, you know, break the cords. They're no, it feels like somebody isn't good for you. Knight of Swords is a swift energy of progress. Move on. So, um, and again, the world card, break free, break free. <laughs> You know, you're going to be okay. There's definitely an energy of, you know, when you get past this and finally allow yourself to, to really find closure and um, step through to a new phase of your life, move on and um, embrace a new beginning. Learn lessons from it most definitely, but don't be held hostage by the devil. I mean, this is still Saturnian energy, the world card. The devil is Saturnian energy, but the devil is somebody who keeps you stuck in that illusion of instability and negativity. Whereas this is about breaking free of it. I've learnt lessons, some difficult lessons, but I'm ready to, to find closure, break free, draw a line under it, move on. And with the energy of the Nine of, of Pentacles, which is a card of standing in your own self-worth, self-esteem, you deserve more. I mean, the Spirit is saying you deserve more. You deserve more, know your worth, you know? And there's definitely an energy of, you need to get some kind of balanced perspective. This compromise I feel is to do with balance, getting balance back in your life. Uh, the balanced perspective, two sixes in your challenge, which represent harmony and equilibrium. To get that equilibrium, you need to see the big picture. You need to see the truth of the situation or the truth of someone. Because there's such opportunity open to you. So many new doors to open. There's definitely this energy, Gemini, of there's a need to cut free of attachments that are no good for you. And move towards things that are, you know? Yeah. Final message for Gemini, please. Hmm. I like the fact solitude came out because it's tying in with this, but this is an empowering energy. This is somebody who understands their own potential, understands what they deserve and how to achieve what they deserve. You know, it's that kind of energy. So we have solitude, thinking of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. It feels like there's greater things to come here, but reconnect to who you are. Um, allow the ending. Again, 10 is an ending. The world is an ending. Uh, and I feel for some of you, there's definite reconnecting to who you are, the Knight of Swords, to move on, to bring swift change to your circumstances um, by getting clarity on the situation and moving forward. So beautiful energy here, Gemini, but a very powerful message from Spirit, nevertheless. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Gemini, and I will see you next time. Thank you.